hi I'm Xu Wei from NUS this is a bonus video because I will tell you about some of my study habits the first part will be lecture listening so this module is being webcast hmm I love webcast because I can watch it at my room study at my own pace and pause whenever I want to write down the important notes and it actually saves up a lot of traveling time but the main reason I'm watching webcast is because I am too lazy to attend lectures but there's another advantage of watching webcasts. You can actually speed up the video so that you can watch at your desired speed. Then you will be somehow listening to the lecturer's funny voice, including my video as well. So how to download webcasts? How to download? Yeah, just Google how to download webcasts from IVLE on Google. Then you will see someone's blog posting about it. Okay, so second, prepare yourself before the class or lecture, it is very important to have some idea of what is going to be taught today. Third, we need to focus on a pro what problem you have. Clarify your doubts and note down on your lecture notes. So for lecture note printings, I don't usually print out my lecture notes because it makes me lazy. How? When we study, we just read through the notes and suppose that we have understand it. But maths isn't studying by that way. What you need is to take note or write down those equations and formulas against with a pen. After you have written that, you will realize that you have accidentally memorized it. So resource finding, Wikipedia is a very good place for us to get some new information. But the disadvantage of Wikipedia is it is too hard to learn. So we can actually try YouTube videos. There are some animation that give us better understanding on that particular concepts. Because sometimes the lecturer may skip some the variation of the formulas. And you can actually search for Zukav's video too. There are a lot of great students sharing their ideas and concepts there. And you can try to listen to their videos because the lecturer taught you how to understand the module, but students will teach you how to get a better score. Everybody hates memorizing formulas. You don't need to memorize the formulas actually, but you need to understand how the formulas are derived. Secondly, don't just read and write the formula yourself. You will somehow realize that you have actually accidentally memorized the formulas. Another way is to keep solving the question by yourself first before looking at the solutions. Because doing mistakes by yourself actually prevents you from doing the same particular mistakes in the exams. So how do I study for this module? The efficient way of studying is to practice every day, but I can't do it. Not because I am lazy, but I am busy on other activities. So you can summarize the chapter yourself. What I mean here is to write your own notes so that you can read through it easily before your finals. So what if I'm lazy to do it? You must attend tutorials. Tutorials are very important to me because my tutor will summarize everything taught in the lecture for me. If your tutor wasn't suitable for you, just change your tutorial slots. Normally, classes with the most students have a good tutor. Try to attend the questions before attending tutorials to memorize your learning outcome in the tutorials. If you can't, at least read through them before attending tutorials. And lastly, tutors are paid to teach you. Do not hesitate to find them or ask them questions. How do we prepare for the midterm exam? So you can see past year, past year and past year. Why do we need to do so much past year? Because some of the questions are very alike. So you must do all the past year questions before attending your midterm exams. Why do we need to discuss with friends? Because when my friends ask me questions, I realize that there are some small important details that I did not notice. So discuss more with your friends about the midterm in case you left out some important points. And lastly, what if you can't solve the questions? It's easy. Just read through the solution and understand it. And then try to rewrite the solution on your own.